Diamond Tier 1 is the highest rank on Master Duel's competitive ladder, and with the right deck and a bit of luck, just about anyone can hit that goal. But what if you don't use the right deck? What if you play a janky anime archetype that was only ever good in Duel Links? How far could you get? I'm Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know, and that's exactly what I intend to find out. Each month, I try to climb the Master Duel ladder with something different, facing the cutthroat world of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh with a variety of rogue strategies. This month, in the spirit of the holidays, I've allowed my patrons to pick any deck for me to play, any deck at all, and I will try my best, no matter how bad it is. And they have settled on... Galaxy Eyes. Used by the main rival of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, this deck centers around Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, a strange boss monster of a card supported by and part of three different archetypes. Though it's never been the best deck, it's also not the worst. After several rounds of legacy support, Galaxy Eyes boasts a powerful OTK going second, and the ability to make several negates going first. It's not awful by any means, it's just very outdated, and I am skeptical that this old school Ixie archetype will be able to hold its own in an age of one card starters. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong, only time will tell. Did my patrons get me a Christmas gift this year? Or a pile of whole bricks? You'll have to watch to find out. Alright, so as the intro said, we are playing Galaxy Eyes. And uh, if you know anything about Galaxy Eyes, you're probably looking at this deck list and cringing very hard. I wanted to try out with something a little spicy, a little experimental. I already know that this list no matter how I build it, is not going to make it into Diamond 1. So instead of going completely try-hard like I did in the last episode, I'm gonna try to be a little, little experimental, try something new. Maybe it won't work, in fact, most likely it won't work. But if it does work, it'll be really funny and really exciting. This is how you find out new tech cards, new interesting things to play. So we'll start with this, and if it doesn't work, hopefully an opening will have enough stuff to build a better version of this deck. I mean, to be fair, this looks pretty cheap, right? Most of the stuff we need for the Galaxy Eyes is all in one pack. We've already got a lot of the super rares from opening the structure deck, and all the ultra rares are like one ofs, and it's all in the same pack. So I, I, I'm pretty confident that we can get all of these pretty simple, and the only thing that's difficult is Alpha the Master of Beast which we are going to have to craft, but we've already got 70 ultra rare points. Wouldn't be too hard to get a couple more. And this will be a really good tech card to have in our arsenal for later decks, especially once the like Vernasylph stuff comes out eventually. That's, that's a deck that I'm looking forward to trying out at some point. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, get into the pack opening and see what the hell we pull. All right, this is the last pack of the set, and it doesn't look like we got an ultra rare. We did get all three of our uh, galaxy eyes, but I already had three of those, so I guess that's an extra. But yeah, not a good thing. Our first, our first pack of ten, we didn't get a, we didn't get a single ultra rare. But I guess that means you know, we're guaranteed an ultra rare this time. Maybe it'll be more than one ultra rare. That would, that would be nice. Oh boy, we got we got twice as many as two ultra rares. All right, not from the pack. Metal claw, and well, we got one of these. Hey, is that? Oh, it's just regular shiny. Oh, that's pretty good. We needed one of those. There's one of the extra decks. We just need like five more. Maybe one of them will be in this pack. This is our one free ultra rare. Guaranteed, at the end, which Ixie will it be? Hopefully it'll be an Ixie. Hey, there we go. Number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. This is the OTK machine. This is the thing that allows us to decimate our opponents. So we've got, we got one of them, or two of them. Let's, let's actually go back, even though we've only opened two real quick. Let me see what I actually have to do. Yeah, place them in the deck. So we need... A Galaxy Eyes Tachyon, 
That's not in the pack. And we need a Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Lord and a Soul Flare. So we need these three Ultra Rares and we need two more Orbital, one more Afterglow. These we can easily craft because we've got more than enough Super Rare points, but we're probably gonna keep opening these packs just to get these three URs. This is what we're trying to get more than anything else. Everything else is extra. Hey, there we go. We got an Ultra Rare, it's in the right side. Hey, we got our Afterglow. There we go. All right, hopefully this will be one of the things we need. Soul Flare, Prime Lord, I'm feeling the Lord. Show me that Photon Lord. No, it's, uh, it's one we already got, but you know, we can break this one down because there's absolutely no reason to play more than one. Whoa. Hey, there we go. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. We needed that. We also get something out of the pack. A scapegoat. I think I have a royal scapegoat, so I could probably break that down now and get a whole bunch of packs because if you don't know anything about me, I do not care about shininess or rarity in the slightest. I am purely practical. I will break down every royal I have if it need be. Oh, one at either end, the pendulum scales of rarity. Left scale is tanky. Hey, I can always use one of those. Right scale, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. This is three level eight monsters. You can also, no, it's just three level eight monsters, which means we're never gonna make it, which means we're not gonna play it. I might keep one because I think you need this for, oh, I'm pointing, there we go. I think you need this for some of the new Galaxy Eyes stuff coming out. So if we end up playing this again next year, we'll have that. But uh, as it stands, I mean, we got one more. We just need, we just need two more. Oh wait, did I already have this one? This wasn't on the list of ones we needed, was it? Fuck. Whoa, hey, two ultra rares. Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two pride cards? Well, hey, I mean, I already had three infinite and permanent, so getting a shiny one just means 15 ultra rare points. I'll take that. And hey, there's the soul flare dragon. We needed one of those. All right, things looking up for old hard leg. Once you get into the 5,000 gems, that's when things really take off. When Master Duel notices you're wailing, they're like, okay, Okay, we'll throw this guy a bone. Let him try a little bit. You know, we'll get there eventually. All right. All right. Prime Photon Lord. Summon him from the decks. Oh. Dun dun. That wasn't the one I needed. I already had this one. We could, we could break it down. You know, it's, it's there. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm feeling the Prime Photon Lord. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are the Warriors of Time. That's not the Warriors of Time. That's that's just a regular one. Well, we got we got one thing. We got more dust. We just. We just need one more, and also the Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, which Chad has pointed out isn't in this pack, but is in fact in another pack, so we'll probably have to, to do something about that, but uh, we're getting close, we're almost there. 6,000 gems? 6,000 gems ain't nothing, we got this, we got this! We got Pendulum Scales once more, hey, with a Remoral Tack. I think we needed one of those. What's this? Valiant Shark Launcher? Target one monster your opponent controls, detach a material from an Ixie you control, and if you do, destroy that monster. This is a quick effect if you have another water Ixie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna break that one down. I don't think that's particularly good. Is this anything good? No, it's just another one of these. I mean we got we've got the playset of afterglow dragons now. We only play one, but some builds play three. We might put another one in here, but uh, yeah. Okay, six, six, oh, we gotta go to 7,000. All right, this is the last of the free gems I've managed to save up. If we don't get it here, we're gonna have to do it, but we look, we got at least two, at least two pride packs, including one right here. Who knows? Maybe this is the prime photon lord that we've been waiting for. 
Maybe he's been hiding here. No, he's on the wrong side of the pack. This side is the Master Duel pack. This just gets us... Yami Nambe party and... The fuck? Armatile the Chaos Phantom dash Phantom of Fury? I didn't even know they made a retrain of this. Uh, probably gonna break that down. I don't know. Someone will probably have me try to play this at one point, and if I have it, I might as well try to play it, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Alright, last pack in the set. This is our chance. This is- oh, it's in the wrong side of the pack. This is the third time we've gotten Pendulum Scales, though. What's this one? Galaxy Wizard? And this one? Oh, boy. Oniirus. The Dream Mirror? You mean I could have my very own Dream Mirror? Exciting! Perfectly excited. well... Unfortunate, it looks like- it looks like that's all of our free gems, everyone. That means it's- it's time to whale. We get one free pull of this! So, you know, maybe our one free pull will have a cool ultra rare in it that we can also break down or something? Hard to say? Hard to leg? There's only one way to find out for sure! No. No, but we got a shiny doll. So, I mean, some people out there like that. Some people pay extra for stuff like that. Alright, now to never open that pack ever again for any reason. And then we just gotta generate this. But I mean, we knew that this is, I believe, in a master pack too. Yeah. So there we go! We got our deck list, it cost 8,000, a bit more expensive than I was expecting considering, you know, that we had most of the stuff already, but for whatever reason, a lot of those one-off URs were difficult to pull. But we've got it. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is go test this against some patrons, try it out, see how it works. I'll come back with whatever the finished version is, because we'll probably make some changes based on that. And then I'll go over the deck, actually explain how it works for people who don't know anything about Galaxy Eyes and Photons. Alright, so after a bit of testing, after a bit of tweaking the formula, this is the list we're going to start out with. I could go over everything in here, explain what it is, but really, the essentials of what you're doing is just vomiting monsters onto the field and using them to make Ixie monsters. Pretty much exclusively Ixie monsters. You can occasionally make a, a synchro if you happen to use a Psy frame during your opponent's turn, but it's mostly these Ixies. And in particular, the main two that we're making are Cyber Dragon Infinity. This is, despite being not a galaxy monster, it's one of the easiest things to make in this deck because so many of your combos revolve around Galaxy Soldier, which is a Galaxy card and not a Cyber Dragon card, even though they use that more. But more importantly, we've got this guy. This thing says, if it battles during damage calculation, you can detach, and this card gains attack equal to the combined ranks of all Ixie monsters on the field times 200. So even if this is the only Ixy monster on the field, you're still gaining 1600 on top of 4000. Now this does say any battle damage it inflicts is halved, unless it has Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as material, but that's not a problem with Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. This is a one of, but we have many ways to get it out of the deck, to search it, to even summon it from the deck. And if we happen to get it in our hand, as long as we control any Galaxy Eyes monster, like, say, the Link, we can special summon this in defense position. And its effect is, if this is detached from an Ixie monster to activate that monster's effect, you can take a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon uh, and either special summon it or attach it as Ixie material. So this just lets us get Galaxy Eyes and attach it to the prime material, make sure that it does all the battle damage. And then, if you activated that effect during the battle phase, double the attack of all number Ixy monsters you control. Which means that with its own effect and combined with that, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon goes up to 11,200. So if our opponent has any monster in attack position, with less than 3,200 attack, this is an OTK. 
And that's basically what we're trying to do. Everything in this deck is about turboing out this as much as possible. We're gonna go second. That's why we're playing the alpha. Not only is this something to bait out negations to get rid of troublesome monsters, uh, but it's also a level eight. And this doesn't really have any restrictions on what we can use. It's just two level eight monsters. So if we can get this and like a prime or a afterglow dragon on the field, that that's just an OTK. And then everything else is just extension that can allow us to get into stuff like Star Leech, Photon, uh, Blast Dragon. This makes it so that all monsters you control with 2,000 or more attack can't be targeted. So they kind of have to negate this or destroy it because otherwise everything's going to become invincible. Again, we can make Infinity. That's going to force them to try to get something to get rid of it. And usually what we can do is bait something out and then go into this. At least that's the hope. This is by no means a great deck. It's uh, probably not going to work all that well regardless of what we do. But that's what we're going to start out with. And if need be, we can always try to make a more turbo rank 8 version of this. Uh, we can also go more into uh, negates and stuff. Galaxy Eyes do actually have a pretty good set of disruptions. In particular, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord is a non-once per turn monster negate. It can just detach to negate a monster. And then also during the opponent's turn, it can equip a galaxy card from the deck so it never runs out of material. You just keep adding on to it. Um, and they've got a couple other tools. In addition to the whole rank eight toolbox, you can get things like Lancelot, going into double A Zeus. If Galaxy Eyes Cypher X Dragon, which does stuff, I don't honestly remember what it is, but it's in here because I bought the structure deck. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try this out, see how it goes, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get out of at least plat 5. That would be nice. <laughs> All right. The first duel. We're going second. We've got our Cyber Dragon Infinity thing. We're ready to begin. We've got... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> You know, there are people who call blue eyes brick eyes, right? And galaxy eyes is kind of like blue eyes in space. So what we got here is bricks, bricks in, in space. space. Now the only good thing is that we're going second and we have Max C. So if they don't have the Ash Blossom and they're not playing a back row heavy deck, um, we can we can activate the Max C and maybe draw into something that isn't a brick. Wait, why can't I activate on resolution? No! Let me activate on resolution! Please. Aww. Could have, I could have max seed on that. <laughs> okay, well, I got a max seed here. Before they draw a bunch of cards. Hopefully the last card is Ash! Well, I'm boned. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Branded lost. All right. I wasn't gonna, oh. Oh, it's one of those hands, is it? I'm so sorry, Mr. Branded. Let's go, Branded. Let's go, hoo, hoo. All right, this is an awesome hand. I think we might actually be able to play unless you've got skill drain too. Okay, so we're gonna Galaxy Soldier. We're gonna discard the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Special summon in defense mode. And then we can use this to search anything, pretty much. Just any galaxy card, any galaxy monster. Not any galaxy card, just any galaxy monster. And we've got quite a few of those. Galaxy Wizard's pretty good. Uh, Galaxy Knight, if we didn't already have it. I'm gonna go for Galaxy Brave, be a brave boy. Uh, I think we're gonna go for Afterglow. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna special summon Photon Vanisher. This you can special summon if you control a galaxy or a photon. And it lets you search a uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Which is not really super important, except for it just gives us another thing we could special or we could discard to summon the other Galaxy Soldier. The search effect of Galaxy Soldier is once per turn, but the uh, the summon effect is not. 
So if you could do stuff like this, you could go... And they've got, you know, one set card, so if we can go into... Uh, Cybers... Not Cybers, Cyber Dragon Infinity... That'll give us the one negate we need to hopefully play through Nibiru or whatever else they might have. We can make that within five subs. One, two, three, four... Bada bingo. Say hello to CDI! Da -da -da -da. They got something cooking up. Alright. And then, if we control a photon or galaxy, we can normal summon this without tributing. Hello there. And when this is normal summoned, you can target a level 8 in your graveyard. Special summon it. Or, I'm sorry, one galaxy eyes photon dragon specifically in your graveyard and summon it. Uh, yeah, we have to stop that. Otherwise, our turn just ends here. We just gotta hope one of the other cards in their hand isn't Nibiru. And it is not! We get our first win, even though uh, I'm not exactly sure how we win from that. I think we could probably pop some stuff with rank 8s and everything. Easy peasy. Going second, going second. Going second, going second, going second. Book based? No. Alright. Three hand traps, a going second card, and one galaxy card we cannot summon. Unless we get another galaxy card. We're maybe playing too many hand traps. Although if we get rid of this, this will just be something else. Alright, Max C minigame. Let's see if we can resolve it this time. Howdy howdy. Do I automatically win? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Who needs to play a game when you could just activate Max C? Please ban this, Konami! <laughs> Don't you understand how many games come down to whether or not Max C resolves and that's it? Even when I win, I don't like it. All right, so far, things not going too well. We're only seven duels in, but we got four losses to three wins. And I'm pretty sure all four of those losses were to, like, trap-heavy decks with a bunch of floodgates and stuff. We should probably put in Lightning Storm, although a lot of these decks are running Lord of Sky Prison, which means Lightning Storm doesn't do shit anyway. Um, so instead, I'm going for Psyframe Epsilon. We're gonna go for even more cheese, even more spice. We're on that spicy cheese this time. And this is the same thing as Delta we were playing before, but when your opponent activates a trap and you control no monsters, you can negate it. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that out, see if it works. Probably not, um, but since it's such a small change, this is version 1.5. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Crooked Cook Turbo and me without any kind of, um... Do I have anything to do piercing? Oh, this can attack directly, but only while it has material and they can bait out the material. Yeah, I think Lancelot at most is gonna get 4,000. All right, Crooked Cook Turbo. And it, uh, they got the right one. Going to Special Summon Alpha. What are they thinking about? Max C. I don't want them to draw cards. So I'll just wait. It's not like they're gonna do anything. Aren't we on Goddess? No. We're rarely going to have the material for a rank 4, that's why I only play one Link anyway. Attack mode? Raigeki. Why are you playing Raigeki in a Crooked Cook deck? Um... Wait, I think I can win here. They went into attack mode, chat! 
and they don't know what we're playing. Okay. Okay, I think I got this. We're going to Galaxy Soldier. Discard that. Summon that. We're going to get another Galaxy Soldier. We're going to activate this. We're going to equip. We're going to send. And we're going to get... Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. We're going to activate the Galaxy Soldier. And we're going to send the Photon Dragon. I'm going to... Yeah, I can do it without using that. Okay. Let's, let's play it as safe as possible. Let's assume they have Nibiru. We go to this. We make Cyber Dragon Infinity. Then, we normal summon Galaxy Wizard. Wizard can do one of two things. It can tribute itself to search, or it can increase its level to eight. We're gonna increase it to eight. Now that we control an eight, we can activate Galaxy Expedition. If you have a five or higher Galaxy or Photon, summon a five or higher Galaxy or Photon from the deck. Afterglow Dragon. Then we can put these two together to make Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Da dun dun da dun, it's coming. Da dun dun da dun, it's here. Go in, attack, activate the effect, detach afterglow, afterglow effect. We're going to take a galaxy eyes photon. Special summon it? No, we're attaching it so we don't do half damage. And then we hit for 12,900 damage. Moving into attack mode was a big mistake, buddy. All right, so as fun as it would have been to, to use the Psy frames on people, as, as cool as that was during testing, it's just not happening in a real duel. It's not working out the way I had hoped it would. So we've taken those out. We put in Lightning Storm, we put in Raigeki, we put in Monster Reborn, and we're gonna try it out with this. Uh, we've also changed up the extra deck. We got rid of the Synchro since we no longer have them. Now we're playing an Underworld Goddess in case we need that. We have a Hip Potion again, which should help us with, um, I was gonna say for Baguska, because we've run into that, but this actually doesn't get over Baguska. It's just nice to have a, um, just another link we can go to. I got another rank four, the Star Liege Paladynamo, which can be good in certain situations. So we're gonna try that out, see how it works. And I think the next step after this, if this doesn't work, is to try mixing in uh, Mech Knights. Give it even more go second ability and see if uh, just throwing in a bunch of swarming with special summons helps. Well, we're opening with Maximum C. Oh, I should have activated Max C there. Going straight to Shizuku, all right. Okay. Lightning Storm would be nice right about Hyar. Nope. It's the wizard! Now let's uh, normal summon this. Special summon. Hello! Let's grab one of these. Yeah, we got this. Okay. So let's go ahead into Star Liege Blaster. We OTK for them from this position? Yes, as long as they don't negate exactly this. This special summons Photon from the hand. 
And while this is on the field, uh, your opponent cannot target monsters with 2,000 or more attack with card effects. Oh, I guess if they have Ash for this, we're also kind of screwed. Nope, okay. There's the Afterglow. And Cypher Dragon? Not Cypher Dragon, Prime Photon Dragon? Hello there. It's me, your buddy. With all the things? I have all the things, I'm not sure if you've noticed. Attack. Activate. Detach Afterglow. Big number. Afterglow activates. We've already got a Galaxy Eyes attached to that, so we'll just special summon it. Yo, what up? Another one. 11,000! When we win, we win big. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. To be the sad man. With galaxy eyes. And no one knows what it's like to be hated. To be faded. To telling only lies. But my dreams, they are as empty as my hand seems to be. I have hours only lonely. My love is vengeance that's never free. Fine, we can play this game. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm in danger. So they've got the imperm there, which means they can use this. I can't negate. Uh, I could still detach this. But double of nothing is nothing! No! <laughs> they had the ability to turn me to zero, dang it! Alright, so this deck still isn't doing very good. So we're, we're, gonna tr we're, we're trying to switch things up a little bit. Uh, we've put in a small package of mech knights. It's just three of them, and we're playing three different ones because basically this one searches these two, this one searches these two. You don't really want to get doubles of any of them, and you can't use them to search themselves, but getting one essentially gets you the other two. So we end up with this conga line of mech knights that can hopefully either bait stuff out or be used as material. We've got two level eights plus a level five, which along with the galaxy soldiers have the potential to make constellar Pleiades, which is pretty decent. And uh, other than that, oh yeah, we add, we added in Excel Light. There's there's a person in the comments who keeps saying that I should play this, or not the comments, but the Twitch chat. And uh, even though in, in all of the deck profiles I saw for all the people who played Galaxy Eyes, not a single person played this, uh, I figured we'd try it out. So basically, if you control no monsters, special summon a level four lower photon or galaxy from the deck but you can only activate once per turn and you can't normal summon or set the turn you activate this. So it's a pretty steep cost, locks us out of the normal summon. If we do this, we pretty much can't Galaxy Knight, but uh, we hadn't really done that many Galaxy Knights anyway. Our only normal summon was Galaxy Wizard. So being able to get this out basically from the deck unbricks the half of the deck that uses Photon Vanisher. We're less likely to get on that. We can also get Orbital and then attach it from the field. We can also just get a Vanisher out of the graveyard, I believe. No, it must first be Special Summon. Everything about this deck just feels like designed in a way to infuriate me personally. <laughs> There's all this, these little quirks where like, 
You know, in order to make stuff, you need photon monsters and you need galaxy monsters. And some cards require photon stuff, some require galaxy stuff, but very few, some do both, some do neither. It's, it's just, it's just difficult, but it's what the patrons wanted. And uh, for, for December, for Christmas, I decided I wasn't going to veto anything, even though I thought it was awful. So we're sticking with it. One way or another, you're gonna, you're gonna get your Christmas witch. I, I, I hope, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Flew under ease without the barrier statue? I'll give anything a shot once, twice if you're lucky. All right. All right, 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 all right. My baby don't mess around because she loves me now and this I know for sure. Clap, clap, clap. But does it really matter if I've got the stuff that goes out the door? Clap, clap, clap. One eternity later. All right. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, defense mode. That way I get my effect. Give me my effect. No, come on. Really? You're really gonna do that? You're gonna do one of those? You're gonna do one of these? So I can make Paladynamo. Paladynamo is interesting. Sure. I haven't summoned Paladynamo. It's your friend Mo. Oh, but it's an attack position, so I can't do anything. Yeah, its effect is all attack based. Uh Scar to Light Monster. What up, Corn Puff? Ready to make some moonshine? Making moonshine where the sun don't shine. Doing all the stuff like you're doing a crime. Uh, I didn't expect to get this far. This one. It'll be funny. Uh, activate. Let's get this one. Uh, you can special summon this by taking contributing two two thousand attack. Okay, I'll tribute this one and this one. Hello. In a big country, dreams stay with you like a lover's voice on a mountain side. I punch. I go to main phase two. Okay. And then we make Zeus. Well, hello there. Bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Now what? just took psychic damage from that magical mallet how did you get to platinum I'll get me mallet oh. <laughs> uh, you can choose four numbers of the fifth number <laughs> oh no well, I'll uh, do this. Those numbers sure are evil. Yeah, 
Yeah, so they get a four material Rongo. Um. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I still get to summon a Galax. Oh, no, I don't. I just get to attach it. More material. But they can't beat over it because they're at exactly 3,000. Sales ban. All right. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects with the same name. You can also cannot do it for the rest of your turn. Another mallet. Now Rongo will never detach. Uh, they didn't negate Rongo. They made it so that neither player can activate Rongo's effects, and its effect is to detach. Now, what, what, how this works, right? Declare one card name. For the rest of this turn, your opponent can't activate cards with that name. For the rest of the duel, you can't activate cards with that name. It's meant to be something like, you can stop an Ash, but then if you do, you're not allowed to use Ash for the rest of the duel. Instead, they go around that by using it on their own thing and just prevent it from ever activating. You win by deck out, assuming that they're not playing, um... Well, one, this is, this is not reciprocal. My opponent can still normal or special summon monsters if they feel like it. So eventually they'll get stuff that can get rid of Zeus. Alright, so here we are on day two of recording. I'm feeling a lot better than last time. Last time, very sleepy, very tired, but now I'm energized and ready to take on the world. At least at the moment. I don't know, this, this doesn't feel like it's been going very good so far, and I'm not sure there's much I can do to make it go better, but... I did have a couple ideas. Uh, the main thing we did here was that we spent some more ultra rare points, we broke down some stuff, and we got Union Carrier. This is mostly used for degenerate stuff, but it's really good in this particular deck because we have a lot of cards with the same type and attribute. Uh, and this is type or attribute, yeah. So we can easily make this, it's a link to, and it allows us to equip Photon Orbital from the deck. And when this is equipped, it lets us search. So this basically lets us turn any two monsters into a search. And then I think we can like link climb with this, right? We could probably link climb with this. Uh, not the same turn it summoned, okay. But either way, we get a search, it's another machine, it's something we needed anyway. Probably more importantly though, I'm testing out a new theory. I recently took place in a, in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament uh, online, hosted by one Mr. Hasher Brown, who's a cool channel, check him out if you're, you're interested on Twitch. Um, and I, I lost to some decks that were doing a lot of stuff where they were playing a whole bunch of two-ofs. Specifically a whole bunch of two-ofs, uh, like hand traps and board breakers. Like, I saw a go second deck that was like, two Ash, two Maxi, two Valor, two Lightning Storm. And I was talking to my opponent afterwards, and I'm like, why do you do this? Because it doesn't feel very effective to me. I've always been of the idea that if you're gonna play something, you should either play it at three, or don't play it at all. If it's worth playing, it's worth playing at three. And they explained that basically, when they're making a deck, you have to have a ratio of board breakers to play starters. But what actual board breakers you have, whether they're hand traps or kaijus, doesn't really matter. Especially on Master Duel, where you're likely to run into whatever, it's good to have a variety of things. And yeah, I may open, you know, Max C when I don't need it or not open it when I need it. But simply having it in the deck at all over the course of 50 games will allow you to rise up the ladder faster. So we're going to we're going to try that out. We're going to experiment. Basically, I'm running two Effect Veiler, two Max C, two Gamma Sill, two Gadarla, two Lightning Storm, two Interrupted Kaiju Slumber and two Alpha the Master of Beasts. We also got a couple more play starters. We got a Photon Advancer. We put the reinforcements of the army back in. So we're most likely to get our starters. And then we have a wide variety of things for dealing with our opponent's deck. Uh, maybe we could switch some of those out. Uh, I feel like, you know, maybe these two were redundant. Maybe I could put in a Forbidden Droplet, even though um, 
Like, the problem with Forbidden Droplet in this deck, right, is that I don't have anything I want to discard. Usually I'm trying to have as many extenders as possible, and if I discard one or even two of those, that just shuts down my entire plays. I can't do anything, because you don't want anything in the graveyard. But it might be worth playing it at one or two, because being able to maybe get a lesser combo off is better than just not being able to play at all. So, you know, we'll experiment with this, we'll try it out, see how it works. Maybe we'll come back instantly with deck version 5 that goes back on this. Maybe we'll experiment it with 4. I figure there's, there's no better time to try than with a deck that, uh, not too great regardless. <laughs> Protoss. Declare one attribute. Dark. Oh no, chat. I can't summon all my many dark monsters. What will I do? Um, nothing apparently. I gotta do this. I believe this allows them to protect everything, not just itself. They can also ash it if they have it. Well, I at least did something. But they banished a card, so on the next chain, they'll be able to banish the kaiju. And then everything else in hand is a brick. Which, I, <laughs> I'm not sure if I, like, I'm unsure if this, if I, uh, you know, this episode will accurately portray how awful this deck is. Um, because I probably don't show a lot of the duels like this, but just so people know, I guess we'll include one to be like, yeah, this is like 30-40% of hands are just like a bunch of level 8s, even though I've gone as light on the level 8s as possible. This is at 1. You have to play, or yeah, this is at one, this is at one, this you kind of have to play at three, every list I've seen plays this at three. This maybe I shouldn't play at three, but this is so good if you get any other high level monster you could special summon. So, uh, yeah, we still happen to get them and they're, they're just not very good. Yeah, we'll just surrender. I could play like normal rare Dino Mists. Maybe we'll do that later on if it, if it just gets too boring. Be like, I'm curious how bad this is, so I'm gonna take my normal rare um, Megalith deck and see if that does better. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's Lightning Storm the back row. Branded in red, you say? Yeah, I guess we do this now. That way, if they have an ash, surely they will, um, they will activate it now. Yeah, there we go. Ash the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. We activate this. We send this. We search. So let's just get another one of these just in case things break down. Then I can normal summon this, activate the effect, tribute that off, grab Galaxy Trance, activate Trance, Summon this, and sure, why not? Photon Dragon. Uh, activate this effect. We go for this using these two. Get something back. 
Probably just this, yeah. And then we make the big guy. The biggest guy. Big out of ten. OTK time? Let's go for it. As long as this has less than 2,000 defense. Who plays Despian Comedy? Womp, womp, womp. Well, I killed it, and we hit for 3,000, so at least there's that. Yeah, we have literally nothing else we could do. Well, I guess we can rank this up, right? That wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, we just pass on this. We cannot make Zeus. We're locked into photons and galaxies. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that locks us. I'm not sure what locks us. Oh, okay. We still win, I think? Oh wait, no, they're not crashing it to surrender, they're crashing it to do something. Sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Banish this, target one branded spell trap, okay. Gotta get the branded and red back. Okay, at least this keeps the attack, you know. So I'm big, big, big. Okay, let's try, just in case they think they're gonna do something. Let's see if we can do this. Activate this effect. Make it level eight. And then we'll make, um... Yeah, we'll make Lancelot. Lancelot's funny. Omni Negate says no. Erm, um, what the scallop? Okay, so this OTK is more like a TTK, you know. It took two turns, but we hit him with the 11,000. I mean, you could try, but this thing is like, nah. Nah, I ain't doing that. Get out of here. I'm the gross ghost. I'm the dark knight of the underworld. Say hi to my wife if you see her while- <laughs> Damage calculation? Uh, yes! Yes, I will go even higher! 72. Oh, I no longer had it, so it. <laughs> I no longer had Photon Dragon attached! So I was even bigger, but I dealt half damage. Well, at least we get a win. There's a win. It took a while, but we did it. Sorry, messaging chat. Pendulum. I could have played Odd Eyes. Let us proceed. Odd Eyes, Galaxy Eyes. Both of our dragons have eyes, chat. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Oh, I did it. <laughs> They couldn't beat the power of the shifty hands. It was too powerful for them to go. Yep, I still can't play anything. This is a good example of how the- I mean, to be fair, I do again have two one-ofs, but like, can't be normal summoner set unless I have a photon or galaxy. I have a lot of photons or galaxies. But this one can't be summoned, this can't be summoned, this can't be summoned. And this works once I get any of these online. I guess maybe I need to take the Galaxy Expedition out? I don't know. Does it have a game plan? Yeah, it has a game plan. It's just uh, not a very consistent game plan, unfortunately. Alright, so we're only like five or six games in today, but things are already looking looking pretty bad. Uh, we can't even really say anything definitive about the hand trap ratios because most of the problems with the deck have just been like not even being able to start, not having enough stuff in hands to even do what we want to do. So I'm trying to change things up a little bit. We're going for really hard in on the rank 8 turbo. We're basically playing 3 Afterglow Dragon, 
three nebula dragon now alongside the the photon and we've got a couple more like level four starters we're back on the three maxi two effect veiler uh we've got one galaxy trance one expedition three lightning storm and basically we're just trying to if we can get any two monsters on the field we can summon afterglow dragon for free at that point if we have one of these we can make this level eight go for the otk if we have this, we can summon one from the deck, go for the OTK. If we have this, we can search any of these and go for the OTK. Same thing with this. This puts the, um, the Soul Flare Dragon, that's a Galaxy Eyes, on the field, so we can summon this. Uh, and because this is a dragon, this is a dragon. And Nebula Dragon says you can reveal this and one other level 8 dragon in your hand, special summon both in defense, negate their effects, you cannot summon for the rest of the turn except for light or dark dragon monsters. So basically, if we're going to extend as much as possible, and then if they negate everything, but we still have this in hand and either one of these, we can still do the OTK combo. But it's a last resort, because once we commit to this, we cannot make anything else in our extra deck, really. Uh, we've also slimmed things down enough that we can play Pot of Desires. We've got so many three ofs and so few searchable things at this point that uh, I think it's just worth it to have the extra cards in hand. So let's see how this goes. I think, if anything, we have too many, like, extenders and starters and not enough hand trap cards. But uh, that's better than the alternative, where we stop our opponent from doing stuff for a turn and then just lose on turn three because we can't summon anything. Drytron. Let's get dry! Yay! I have resolved Max C, making me the victor. I'm already dry. Oh? Well, this is something I haven't seen before. Dry branded. Brandatron! Dryded. Yay, I drew a go second card. Aren't they like locked into fusions for the rest of the turn? Yeah. They're locked into fusions for the rest of the turn, so they can't... Oh, they're... wait, it's extra deck cards, right? Ah, so they can ritual summon still. I see, I see. All right, I can do this. I got it. All right, we just gotta hope that we don't banish any more of our uh, galaxy eyes. We did not banish the galaxy eyes. We're set. In that case, what we do then is we, yeah, we normal summon this. We special summon this. Yeah, we still got two in the deck, right? Let's see if we can bait some stuff out before we go for big game. The Biru simply does not exist. We activate this. If they have the level change, hopefully they'll use it now. They're not using it now. Okay, so we've got this then. We don't need to worry about turning off trance as long as we can get this negate up. Okay, there they're going for that. Uh, oh, I've made a dire mistake. This does not have 2,000 attack. Okay, that's fine. We've still got this. We can equip it to this. We can activate. We can add... Yeah, we add this one. We special summon it. We've got two monsters with 2,000 attack. So we can tribute both of them to get Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon on board. 
Then we can special summon Afterglow. Then we can overglow, overlay into Prime Photon Dragon. In the extra monster zone, facing a Luber the Duber of Boober. And now we show them what happens when they boob their Luber when they're trying to Duber. Big punch. Special summon, sure, just in case. Damage step, 9400. There we go, we did it. And all we had to do was summon a million monsters and possibly lock ourselves out of things. But we got one punch. We're, we're almost to double digit wins, chat. <laughs> one more, it will be up to 10. Cannot special summon while there is another plant on the field. All right, very powerful, very powerful indeed. I can't special summon, I can't target, I can't destroy. Or I can destroy. I can't destroy by battle. Can I destroy by not battle? Will this work? Uh, why didn't anything... Oh. Sunvine Sewing. Uh, if a plant would be destroyed by battle or card effect... Plant Link Monster. Okay. And this can bounce a card. So they've got one bounce... Um, I think that's about it, right? As far as interaction? Okay, I think we activate this first. We summon this. We activate. We get... Uh, this. We can make... Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare. Yeah. Activate the effect get back this then we'll try to equip photon orbital onto this last token that way if they want to bounce to prevent the effect i still get to keep this but they are not doing that they're saving it so we'll get this now i need some way to bait this out let's try the other photon sanctuary Let's make... Ooh, I have a level 4 in hand, a level 4 in grave. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll try it. Maybe that... Again, we're just activating stuff to try to bait things out. Aha Sharima. Activate. I'm gonna go for this in the graveyard and this in the hand. Okay, we go for this then. Star Liege Galaxion. Activate the effect. Special summon one from the deck. Is this only during the main phase? Only during the main phase. Okay, so we threaten battle phase with this, I guess. All right, finally! <laughs> God, took forever. Okay, so they send that, continue the main phase, yes. Special summon Afterglow. And then we go into the OTK dragon. The primest of prime dragons. All right, there we go. The 10th win. We had the OTK. We just had to bait stuff out. It was it's fine. They just had to get you baited. You know, no big deal. No big thing. Two more wins and we'll get into Platinum 4. So potentially three negates. I'm not sure if I could play through three negates, chat. I could try. Let's try. Start by doing this. That's fine. Okay, there's Ash. So they had four negates. Uh, let's try Photon Sanctuary. Okay, there's one.
Let's try Photon Sanctuary number two. All right, they're letting me have it this time. Uh, what the hell do we do? Okay, we activate Galaxy Soldier and we pitch the other Galaxy Soldier. Summons that, we get the search. Okay, they're allowing it. Um, we go for this. Then we make Soul Flare Dragon using the two tokens. Over here, just in case that shut line or something. And they're negating the summon. Um, that is unfortunate. Normal summon this. Can we search anything that does it? Yeah, we just gotta see what we can get. Aha! It doesn't have to be the same level. So we get Galaxy Expedition. We activate Galaxy Expedition. We summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. We now control a Galaxy Eyes monster, and there's the Nibiru! At least I'll have a big rock. Yeah, if they didn't have that, then I could special summon Afterglow, we get the OTK. All right, so here we are on day three of recording, which I wouldn't really mention, except that this is the point where they added a bunch of stuff. Pretty much halfway through every episode, uh, Konami adds new stuff to the game that, that may change up how the climb goes. In this case, they added the Mysterious Labyrinth set which uh, has Runix, it has Labyrinth, it has some other stuff. Um, both of these are decks that I'm curious in playing in next episodes. And it also contains this, Ultimate Slayer, which a lot of people are comparing to like a weaker version of Dark Ruler No More. It allows you to get rid of two extra deck monsters on the field and they can't respond to it. And unlike Dark Ruler No More, it allows you to deal damage which is the main reason we haven't played that card in our go second version of the build. So I was already thinking about adding in Triple Tactics Talent as better, um, better draw power, because it's almost guaranteed that our opponent's gonna activate some monster effect during our turn. And adding in this as well should give us more tools. So we're gonna keep trying this go second version, but first we're gonna open some packs, try to grind up some URs, and see if we can pull Ultimate Stayer, or if nothing else, like, they put Appalooza in here, which is something I already have, which is something you only want one of anyway. So if we pull any of these, it's just extra dust. And the same with a lot of these, like you may want three tour guide for later, uh, you may want three Illegal Knight, I think, but like more than one Weather Painter Rainbow? I don't think so. A lot of these, the, the Starving Venom Preta Power, you only really need to play one. So if you get extras, you can break them down and hopefully that'll, that'll allow us to do that. We've got about 2,000. I'll probably spend a little bit of money because they do have a deal going on while it's December. You can get uh, 2,000 for, for 20 bucks. It's only, that's only $10 for a thousand gems, which is actually a good deal compared to the awful prices they, they normally have. So yeah, more pack opening. Not sure if we'll show it, but uh, we might. Hold on tight chat. Every time I have to, to spend this many ultra rare points on something, it just makes me, it, uh, it, it, it hurts my soul. And this is only available in the master pack, right? Yeah, so there's no reason to generate them one at a time. Let's just rip it off like a band-aid. Just a tight little... Ah! <laughs> My heart. All right, well, we got it. We didn't get any of the other card that we wanted. The thing that's a dark ruler, no more, but lesser. But uh, we got our three triple tactics. That should make this deck a little bit better. Maybe, probably, hard to say, hard to leg. Uh, I guess we'll see. We haven't tried anything out in this new meta yet. 
Uh, and I don't want to spend the points on it because we're probably going to be opening more of those packs, if not today, then maybe some other day. So we'll see. We'll, we'll start with this, though. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll make some changes. I, I'm not even... You know what? I'll count this as 0.5.5. We're just replacing one draw power with another draw power. It's not a big change, just a wee little change. We can OTK through this, probably, maybe. Um, normal summon. Activate the effect. All right, let's try to use this. This is a spell trap or effect. They can negate this. And they did negate this. Which means they must summon one of their attack position link monsters. Which means we can activate triple attack. And draw two cards! Da 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 There we go. Getting some stuff. Getting some things. All right, they're using the wave now. Chat, I think we win. This is still not negated, right? Okay, so we activate this effect. We become level eight. Activate Galaxy Expedition and get Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Now that we have a Galaxy Eyes, we could summon Afterglow. And then we can just make this. Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, also known as Gept. They're ready to get Gept. Battle phase. Attack. Oh, I can only attack this one. Oh, it's not enough to OTK. Gosh darn it. Activate. Oh wait, actually this might work. Okay, we must attach the afterglow. Afterglow effect, because we've already got the galaxy eyes. So we don't have to detach it, we could special summon it. So we get this. We hit him for 7,500. And then we can still attack with Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and hit for game! Take that, Marincess! Doodle 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 doodle. We actually won a game! Can't believe that we won a game and we use the triple tactics too! <laughs> it's ladder two! Okay, they've got one Omni Negate and I've got triple tack, so. And Lightning Storm. Let's try to Lightning Storm all the back row. We actually don't want to get the, yeah. Destroy all the spell traps. That's a monster effect. Uh, they still have a negate. Okay, we'll start with how we did before. We'll normal summon this. We'll special summon this. Hello, it's me. Give me a galaxy eyes. Oh, why thank you. Uh, I didn't expect that to resolve. Okay, then we try this. We discard this. We summon. We get the search. Uh, let's go for this. Then we're going to make Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare using these two. We're going to grab back this guy. They are not holding for the OTK machine. There we go. There's the one negate. We did it, chat.
Okay, and then I don't think we even need to. We can just activate this. Search. And get Galaxy Trance. Target one photon, special summon it and a galaxy with the same name in defense. Um, we haven't summoned anything that wasn't a go photon or a galaxy, right? Correct. So we can just get Galaxy Trancer. We'll get this. We'll get Afterglow. And then it's time for them to get gept again. Da dun dun da dun. Da dun dun da dun. Run like you can, little lamb. For soon your death will arrive. Ome wa no shinderu. Bada bingo. Bada bango. Bada Django Unchained, and Galaxy Eyes is going to watch 10,000 Biggest Punch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This triple tax really working out for me. I didn't, I didn't need it that time, but you know, if they had another negate, the fact that I could go again and get more cards. We've got Lightning Storm. Let's hope this is a back row deck. Oh no, that's not good. This means they're playing some bullshit. Excuse me? Summoner Monk Ascended Sage. Set a card. Make Utopia. Get Hyper Rank Up Magic. They've got a full extra deck. Utopia Ray. Then rank it up. Rank it up. Bup, bup, bup. Number 99, Utopia Dragonar, Royal Rare. Detach to Numeron Dragon. Numeron Dragon go to 13,000. All right. What is this? Select one monster, destroy it, and gain that life points equal to its attack. So they're gonna have 13,000 life points. Manipulator of Souls. Ah, when you gain life points, inflict that much to your opponent. Well, that was, that was at least interesting. You know, I haven't seen that before. Does Hugin protect as a, um, like a continuous effect? Like, can they just chain a quick play if I would try to destroy them? and then prevent the destruction? Or do they have to activate it? It's re destruction replacement, oof. Oofington. Well, I guess we just bait it out now, right? If we, if we summon literally anything, then they're just going to do stuff at that point. Hey, Slash Slash has purchased the Leica mug. Well, there we go. Runic, who, you know, Runic, not even a problem. Easy peasy. The, the whole point of the deck is to go second. You don't really need that many hand traps going second. Setting all the cards, doo 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 doo. Setting all the cards, doo doo doo. Full house, chat. We got a full house. Da 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 do 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 do. A doodle da 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 do 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 da 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 do 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 do. Trying, we're trying to use our power. Hey, there we go. We won with a full house. This is just like poker, but with fundamental differences. All right, we're starting with some cards. We're doing some stuff. Let's go ahead and complete the flying V. 
Destroy your spell traps! Oh, what do you know? Branded in red. Who would have saw that coming? Dragostapelia. Pop, pop. But wait, there's more. Add Libitum activates from the graveyard because it was used as a fusion material, which means you can get Mirror Jade and summon it back to the field. Do, 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 do. All right. Anyway, triple tactics talent. Uh, I think I have enough cards this time. Allow me to just take control of one of your monsters until the end phase. I think that would be really interesting, don't you? So they're going to banish that. Um, I'll take the one that can negate, thank you very much. That will be interesting. Activate this. I will send off this. And we'll get this. Activate the effect. You're darn tootin' I am. Uh, this, yeah. Let's special summon this. Howdy, howdy. I know it's cloudy, but you want some chicken? Let's grab that, and then... Yeah, let's just go ahead. We're making the Soul Flare. Bada bingo. Soul Flare, get something back from the graveyard. It doesn't fucking matter. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now that we've got a Galaxy Eyes, we can activate Afterglow, special summoning it from our hand. Then we can activate Galaxy Expedition, summoning a Galaxy Eyes from our deck. Let's just get the regular Galaxy Eyes. Rawr! Then we will overlay for the Gepster, the Gepinator. Galaxy Eyes, Prime, Photon, Dragon, G-E-P-P-D. And now it is time for them to get gapped. We attack. We defend. But most importantly, we pretend that our attack is much higher than you think. We're gonna get the Galaxy Eyes. We're gonna special summon the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. He's going to watch Eternity Photon Stream go! With less than 3,200 attack, he's gonna get OTK'd. And brother, they got OTK'd. All right, brothers, here we go once again. Putting on the shades. All we gotta do is win this one more. We can at least rank up once, right? We can at least make it to Platinum 4. I just want to make it to Platinum 4. All right, we're going second, but we're starting with Maxi and Effect Veiler. So as long as it's not like Runic again, where they're not going to summon any monsters whatsoever, we should be able to get some draws off of this, or at least bait out an Ash, and then we could do other stuff. And it's, it's Runic. Some time later. Draws a card and then banish four. Uh, all right, sure. Why not? They had another turn. I had nothing I can do. But sometimes you win because you win, and sometimes you win because your opponent loses. And brother, our opponent just lost us into plat four. We'll take it. All right, so here we are, dawn of the fourth stream. We're officially at the halfway point, and uh, we've done very little ladder climbing on this ladder climb. We've made it to uh, platinum four. But things are at least looking up. Our win-loss win ratio is slowly, like, getting better than it was. Now, I had a little thing where I talked to the patrons who picked this. 
because uh, if you don't know, I, I, I feel like I mentioned this at the beginning and in just about every episode, but I always get new people on here. These decks are chosen by my $10 and up patrons. And uh, normally I have some kind of uh, standards, like I won't let them pick a deck that's really awful. But because it's December, because it's Christmas, I decided that I would do whatever silly deck they wanted me to play. And that's why we're in this situation now. Because <laughs> they just really wanted to see Galaxy Eyes. And you know what? Uh, and I, 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 can, I can play a bad deck for a month. I don't mind if it makes the patrons happy. Hopefully they enjoy it. Uh, but that's why I asked them. I'm like, it's halfway. I think I've got a good winning go second OTK deck. Do you want me to continue on with this? Or would you rather have me try something else? Switch things up? Maybe make a go first version that's like tachyon control with like the counter trap and uses more of the uh, the photon lord that can negate stuff. And the, the answer was overwhelmingly that they, they would prefer that I try to win over trying to do something interesting. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to keep going with this. We might make some changes to it as we go. Uh, but I think if we keep this up for the next three days, we can make it to plat one. And that's what they're more interested in. But I thought I'd take this moment to poll everyone in general, all the people watching on YouTube. Let me know down in the comments, what do you find more interesting about this show? Uh, would you rather see me take a deck and then just struggle to push it up the ladder as best as I can, see how far I can get? Or do you prefer when I get a little goofy with it, when I get a little janky, when I show off different builds of the deck, even if they aren't necessarily better? Let me know! And without further ado, let's jump back into those duels. Let's get dueling, baby. Uh, had a prosthetic leg. I don't have a prosthetic leg. This is something, someone sent this to me in the mail. And it is a, um, I'm tempted to activate this and just, oh, it's runic. Feet raid? Well, I mean, yeah, if you want feet, here's the hard leg. If you, if you, if you ever notice, there you go. It's hard, it's a leg. What more could you want? All right, this hand is Garbo and I feel like Garbo. Fallen of Albaz. Is he gonna summon Fallen of Albaz forgetting that he can't special summon and also can't attack? Pot of Prosperity, turn, turn, turn. Give me the things. There's the Afterglow, all right. Yeah, let's try this. I cannot summon the Photon Thrasher anyway. There's that. Activate. Give me the thing. What am I searching? Yeah, let's go for this. Let's activate Photon Orbital. We'll equip it to this. We'll equip, we'll send, we'll search. I'm a searchy boy. Gonna get another one of these. Yeah, we're just gonna go for this. Send that. Two level fives. Gee, Billy, how come your mom let you have two level fives? Cybernova Dragon. Maybe I should put Mechaba on my deck in case they blow this up. All right, well, we got a negate now. Getting a negate on board is pretty cool, right? A negate and a prayer. Oh, halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my cyber dragon, we'll make it, I swear. Whoa. Squidward on a chair. The Zeus Caboose is on the loose. Target one special summon, destroy it. Well, I mean, I'm gonna negate that. I don't wanna be destroyed. I don't wanna wait for my card to be destroyed. I wanna be the one who does the negate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was expecting the effect negate. Albaz. Welp. I've got Maxi. 
What rank are we in currently? Um, platinum four. It was Despia all along. All along the Despia. Said the Joker to the thief. Okay. We're gonna do normal summon the Galaxy Wizard. Go ahead. Banish it. Cool. All right. Triple tack. I'll be taking that. Ding. There we go. I'll activate Galaxy Trance. Target one spell trap. Special summon a runic. Maximum C. Special summon a runic all you want. It won't make your PP any bigger. Target one special summon. All right. Anyway. Hello. It's me. Ooh, okay. We go for this. Big. Activate. Summon. Galaxy Eyes, Photon, Dragon. Uh, I think we just wanna beat over this stuff first. We just wanna get in for maximum damage. So fuck you. Fuck you. And, uh, fuck you. Almost dead. We're getting there, chat. All right. Your move. Battle phase skipped. And they can't target monsters with 1500 attack. Um, yeah, we did it! Take that, Runic! Draw all you want! It won't save you from the galaxy eyes! All right, tiny little change. Just something to help us fight Runic. We've removed the Bujin link because I don't think I've ever actually resolved that. And instead we've replaced it with a uh, number 38 Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy, which is technically a galaxy card, but no one remembers it because it's at the very end of a long stream of things. But this negates spells and having a spell negate, very good in this format. It's a tiny change. So we're just going to, this is version 5.7. We still haven't done enough to be version six yet. Well, pff. come on, lightning storm. Top deck lightning storm, I wanna see it. Lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm, ha! It's not a lightning storm, chat. Feeling a little bit sad. All right, let's try reinforcements of the forcements. Let's see how that works. Give me one of these. All right. Uh, normal summon, the Galaxy Wizard! Special summon, the Photon Vanisher! Bada bingo, bada bango! Will you allow me to search the Galaxy Eyes? They will not. Fair enough, fair enough. So there's one back row dealt with. I think what we want to do is just overlay these two. Darn it, what does this, what does this take? I thought I could make this other level four. Two photon, and this is a galaxy, and this is why I hate this archetype. <laughs> because it's two archetypes. Uh, okay. Let's just make this. Galaxy eyes, soul flare dragon. Activate the effect. Give me back this. I want it back. I'm gonna try again next turn. All right, Forbidden Chalice. There's two. We've got two of the four. We're halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. 
Halfway there. All right. Special summon afterglow, because we control a galaxy eyes monster. Chunk. And then we will activate galaxy expedition. Time for us to go on an expedition to another galaxy. Where we will summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Howdy. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna try for game, chat. We're just gonna hope they have nothing else that can stop us. Trying to go for the GIP! Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. I'm sorry, GIPT! It's Gepton time. Battle phase? Time to do my best Simo impression. Damage step. Detach. Afterglow. Activate afterglow. Special summon this. Boom! 11,000! And with another OTK, we rank our way up into Platinum 3. We're, we're a little bit more than halfway there. All we gotta do is get two more ranks into Platinum. If we can make it to Platinum 1, I'll consider this a success. If we can somehow scrape our way into Diamond, I'll be, I'll be surprised. I'll be shocked. I'll, uh, I'll do something. I can't think of it. But something's gonna happen. Nope, defense. I'm sad I missed the drum stream and the VOD's been muted, yeah. It's fine, there'll be another one at some point. It just takes so, so much to set up that I can't do it for like at least another month. At least this time I know the problem I had with the on the on the drum stream was that um, the foot pedal wouldn't stay where I wanted it to. I was drumming too hard. I didn't didn't stop until I taped it down with brutal efficiency. But yeah, we'll get it and who knows, maybe if they're more popular someone will uh, record it for everyone else. Upload it to their own channel. Hard leg problems, exactly. Let's equip this. Let's activate this. And I think we go for the Galaxy Wizard, right? Yeah. Soul Flare. Activate Soul Flare. Get this back. Then we, we use this. We could make this level eight. That would probably be safer, but I want to be able to get some damage on board. So we're gonna go for this instead. I think actually I might be able to OTK if this resolves. Okay, then we get Galaxy Expedition. Oh ho, oh ho. We will special summon this. We will expedition. We'll get this out. And then, yeah, I think we just wanna go for big damage, biggest damage. Damage out of 10. Gonna go for this. Fuck, they have Nibiru, don't they? I'm gonna go for this one. If they do have Nibiru, it's gonna be a big ass token. Lancia, maybe, probably. Yep, detach, destroy one card. We'll detach this. We'll destroy this. We'll activate this. And we'll summon a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from the deck. And then if they don't have Nibiru, this is game. Battle phase. Oh. 
4,000. 2,000. And 3,000. Who even needs the giant OTK? We can just pop cards and go in poking. We can be the poke master. No gores, yes, exactly. That feature hasn't been implemented, but will allow you to pay for it. <laughs> you can pay for a future time where there will be less ads. We got this. Check it. Normal summon. Special summon. It's an inherent summon. Activate the effect. They're gonna negate that. Why wouldn't they? It's just what Appaloosa do. Oh no, I've been negated. How will I won't get my, my precious uh, galaxy eyes? Uh, anyway. Let's just triple tactics talent. Uh, give me that Appaloosa. You don't get to keep that Appaloosa. Ha-chop! Give me that shit. Now I'm the one that negates. I hope you have some kind of, uh, you know... Maybe you have some hand traps or whatever? Good luck with those. Good luck using any hand traps now that I'm the one with the Appaloosa. Read, oh, am I not allowed to activate its effects or something? No, I just take control. There we go. Triple Tactics is so great. I love it. All right, let's summon this from hand. We'll get the Photon Dragon. And then we'll just go and hit him with the galaxy expedition. Let's just go on an expedition for a whole galaxy. Get ourselves the afterglow dragon. And from here, chat, you know what time it is. Our opponent is about to get gept. Um, where is it? There it is. Can I get some geps in the chat? Geps in the chat. Geps in the chat. Galaxy eyes, photron dragon, doing all of that. Geps in the chat. Will attack. Oh? Do you have something? Excuse me? No, you're not allowed to do that. Appaloosa says nay. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but I ain't having that shit. Time to get gipped. Detach the afterglow. Activate the afterglow. And now it's about to be after your glow because I will summon the photon and double my attack for 11,000 straight to the face. A boom, 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 a ting, tong, tong, a tung, ba, tung, ba, tung, ba, tung, pow. There's a chance if I try to go for the background, or the back row, they let it go. If not, then they barone. So let's try that. Let's go for the back row. Okay, so there's the Baron Negate. Either way, this wasn't destroying stuff. This was just used as bait. Bait before Lightning Storm? You can't really. Because if I if I activate this and they negate it, then um, I'm stuck with these. Or if they don't negate it, then I can't activate Lightning Storm. Um, yeah, we go for this. So then we activate Photon Sanctuary. Maybe if we're lucky, they have the blackout. They'll just blackout now and be like, no, you're not making a link with that. Will Photon Vanisher. Hello, it's me. I'm Vanishing. They call me Vanishing Pete. And I really like feet. I'm vanishing all those feet into my feet sack. Dooba dooba doop. Don't get back. Dooba dooba doop. Hungry Bear, thank you for the prime hype. So we're gonna go for this. Toot toot. Scootin' my kaboot. We're going to activate. We're going to equip this. And let's activate this. Because that's more likely. We need to bait stuff out. We can always use these two. So we could just Galaxy Soldier. Discard this. 
summon this, grab a thing. We're gonna go for Galaxy Wizard. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, activate. We get Galaxy Expedition. Galaxy Expedition will let us get another soldier from the deck. Give me another soldier. Okay, there's the blackout chat. That's what we were looking for. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, another one. Photon Sanctuary, almost. We still need to stop the Chi Chow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we're gonna make this. I'm gonna try to add back the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Hopefully they will negate with the Chi Chow. No, they did not. Um, hmm. Puts me in a bit of a tricky pickle. You're trying to win this turn, yeah. We just do this. I think we still might have enough to do anyway. Oh wait, no, let's go for these two. Yeah, this will work out better. We summon these two. We summon Afterglow. We overlay these for... Gep. And then we're just gonna go into attack mode. Battle phase, especially if I attack like the highest one, right? They're like, there's no way they can OTK through 3,000. Who would be able to do that? That's too strong. Come on. Ah, they knew it. They knew it and they're gonna go through it. Summon a token. Uh, continue the attack. Yeah, we're still getting over this. And we're still going to activate the effect, even though it's negated. Because simply detaching Afterglow is going to allow us to uh, summon a Photon Dragon from the deck. And that gets us a uh, another level 8, so we can make one of our negations in main phase 2. So we still hit... Oh wait, do we still have it? Um... No, we don't. But we can clear the board. Attack over that for 2,000. Attack over that for 1,000. Then attack over that. And unfortunately, this can't attack. Oh, I can't make Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. I can make this, though. So we've got Titanic Galaxy. And... This is stuck at 8,000, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end there. We were so close to greatness. Oh yeah, they also have just that. Too much value, too little investment. It's it's not even that that strong. Um, well, I mean, it is strong, but I mean, like, it, it's not even that bad. It's more that Galaxy Eyes is just hopelessly outdated compared to it. This deck looks bad. If they they didn't, if they if I had baited out that negate better, oh great, and they've got Protoss. 
Yep, and there goes there goes all my things. Yep, we got so far and we got so hard, but in the end we were just just a bit outdated, unfortunately. I have to let that go. Oh, it's banished anyway. All right, get big dragoned. No, I say thee nay. See, this deck is really good against the AI ghost tricks. Look at how many negations and destructions I've got on board. I've got all these big Ixies. All I need to do is find a way to ladder climb exclusively against the AI ghost tricks and we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> Behold, the instrument of your downfall. How will you compete against Maximum C? I don't think you will. I'll be taking all the cards this duel, and you shan't be taking any. <laughs> Oh, they're just ending their turn. Okay. Uh... OTK for our collection. Grab them all and put them into your goblin pot. Cause we are the OTK goblin. Ha ta 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 Oh yeah. I forgot they played Dimensional Barrier. I lose. <laughs> I guess I can't I can't beat I can't beat dimensional barrier. Uh, I kind of need to barrier. Well, okay. I don't I don't entirely look. I can I can summon this by tributing uh, these two. Check it out. It's got a summon animation. It's three thousand. That's bigger than twenty nine hundred. With the power of this on my side, they won't be able to resist. I'll be able to attack over this and conquer their demons once and for all. Oh, I, I didn't think that would actually work. Okay, neat. All right, well, we're not, we're not dead dead. Just mostly dead. You got rid of some stuff though. So there's that. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that sucks. And then Entis gets to pop. And then because one left the field, they get to add that back. But it came back. But it came back. Everything comes back. The two maids. They're just popping everything. Uh, what is this? The corn cereal convention? They're even popping the stuff in my hand! Alright, let's see this combo. It seems Branded has a new trick they can do. Tribute a fusion monster. Then special summon two cards from the graveyard, one to each side of the field. So they will get Fallen of Albaz, and I will get Ido, the supreme magical force. It says I cannot special summon monsters. Unfortunate. Nice to know that stuff is certainly existing. The question is, can they OTK me from this position? All right, well that's taken care of. That was a weird thing to do. Couldn't you have just made this first turn? Oh, I guess it's second turn, so they can hit me for 3,000, so there's that. Branded in red. Branded in red. I'd rather be dead than play branded in red. We got another galaxy trance. Ah, Max C, unfortunate. I do not want to be in the sea. Okay, but they use this last turn, so they can't banish me now. All we've got to do is bait out the uh, the branded and red, and we've won. 
Um, let's activate this, shall we? Go ahead, summon your thing, draw your cards. No? Alright. Let's get... Oh yeah, we need one of these. Let's get this. Yeah, then we'll activate this. We'll send that. There we go. Let's just get a card. I like to get cards, chat. Oh no! They've negated! They've negooted! And I've pooted! Alright, let's make... This. Let's grab back this one. Uh, we're going to special summon this. We'll get one of these. Try this. I wonder why they're holding the brand in red for so long. Galaxy Eyes, Photon, Dragon. I guess we'll check to see if they had Ab Libitum. Yeah, let's uh, look at one of their hands. Ding. No, they don't have one. Uh, let's shuffle that back. Okay, so I guess we have to activate this now. And then they'll ash it. Unfortunately, they have two ashes. Yeah. Yeah, so actually we just lose this one. Because we're unable to bait out things. So we make this and they just make the guy and pop us. Our only hope is basically that they don't think that it's worth it. Oh, okay. I guess they don't have one they can do. Alright, we were worried about the branded in red for nothing. Well, there we go. Spent all that time trying to bait out the branded in red, and I guess they're just not running Chimera? Are they toggled off, or uh, who knows? Hard to say, hard to leg, but we did it. We got it. We get a win. Uh, we don't rank down, which is, you know, that's the win that we could get for now. <laughs> Let's see if they have an Ash as well. Yeah, we go for this one. Activate. We will get two tokens. Each one more token than the last. We will special summon the Photon Vanisher. Each one vanishing more cards than the last. We'll get this because we can. Let's activate this on one of the tokens. Interesting. Okay, so the Draco Berserker's gone. A card was banished, so this can banish one, but it's not going to. In this case, what we do is we make this. Because this is more likely to bait something out. Woo woo! I'm a truck, 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 I'm a big old truck. Ride in that truck. Ride in that big old truck. 
Pedal to the metal, hope I don't run out of luck. Pushing all the things on until the break of dawn. Yes, I'm riding a truck with my high heels on. Ouch, will they use this now? They have not. Do they have something else that banishes? How are they going to trigger this? Okay. Tribute two monsters to summon. Hello, it's me, and I am big. I have to do it this way. It's the only way. Hello, it's me, and I am also big. They did not black out. All right, we're going for Gept. Gept, Gept, Gept. Gept, Gept, Gept. Let's see if we can Gept them good. Battle phase. Do they lack critical information? I declare an attack. Forbidden droplet. When the droplet is forbidden! I can still activate the effect though. We will detach this one. The effect may be negated, but Afterglow is not! Special summon one from the deck! And then double the attack! So you still am die! And then we'll attack this one. And we'll use the effect. And get out of here! I do not want to deal with the likes of you. But they came back. Alright. Well. Along came Zeus. With his thunderbolts. And he had the power to say halt. You're getting destroyed with the blackout indeed. You can blow me up, but I'll fill you with Sneed. And so let's go. Right out the door. I'm detaching. Your field won't exist anymore. All right. And now that we've cleared the field, we can finally activate Nebula Dragon and reveal that our battle wasn't even over. Although we're locked into dragons, so the best we can make is Hope Harbinger? Sure. I like to negate spells. Maybe they'll top deck a spell. I would love to make Photon Lord, but sadly he is a warrior. Top deck a spell. What, what? Top deck a spell. Let's go. Top deck a spell. Get sent to hell. That's, that's not a spell. In fact, that's probably the best thing they could have top decked. The one that requires them to just have a monster in the graveyard? Unfortunate. We, we tried so hard and we got so far, but in the end, our opponent has one card starters and we do not. Everything we do is like a two card combo. So, yeah, a good example about how this deck is not, not awful. It could certainly do things. It just can't do enough things to stand up to even, like, a deck in the top five. Like, Sword Soul's not even, like, the best deck. It's not even, like, in the top five anymore. It's, like, the seventh best deck or something. All right, so, uh, it's, it's the fifth day, if you couldn't tell. I didn't, I didn't introduce the fifth day. We just started dueling. It, uh, it hasn't been going good. We've not been winning a whole lot. Uh, I, I, I was so excited. We spent all those money on triple tax, and they've worked pretty well, but they've been dead just enough that I think we have to trade them out. Same thing with the effect veilers. We really liked the effect veilers because they were light monsters. They had synergy with all the other light stuff. You could discard them for something like a, um, a galaxy soldier. But that doesn't really help you if you're if you're just dead. So we've replaced those. We've also taken out a couple things like the Photon Thrasher, like the uh, Rota. Actually, you know what? Let's bump this down to do to two, and reinforcements. That's like having three copies of that. But then if we need, we can also get this. 
And this, basically, this is a photon card that you can normal summon. That's the only reason we play it, so we have something we can normal summon. But yeah, we've taken those out, we've taken the triple tax out, we're playing three Ash Blossom, because we're still running into a lot of Branded. This hurts them. Uh, if we run into Runic, this hurts them as well. We're playing two Called By again, because we're just getting hit by Maxi, and we've got to stop that. Now we had two spaces left, so we filled them with Imperm. Uh, maybe we should play three and make it a 40 card deck. Honestly, I don't think it's that important. We'll just put it with two of. And that's enough to qualify this as Mark 6. We're still on this hard OTK go second deck. We've been looking up other versions of the deck um, that people have gotten to, to Diamond supposedly with. And uh, they just they seem like my original version of the deck that was winning even less often than this. So not really sure what to do. Hopefully this will work. Let's let's go and see. I will face death with my boots on. Ah! Check it out, chat. We made it to 50 losses. And we ranked down. It's better than anyone could ask for. Back to plat four. Triple tack! Draw two cards. But what if Ash said no? Mm-hmm. All right. All we got to do is play through one back row, chat. If we can play through one back row, we win. We just got to hope that's like Eagle Booster or something. Should have saved it for this dude. In perm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It is time. He's got all the stars. Attack mode. Attack! Activate the effect. Detach the afterglow. Activate afterglow! Equip the photon! And then we rise to 1,500, destroying our opponent and ending their pathetic life once and for all. What do we got here? Just open Maxi and Ash, chat. All you gotta do is open Maxi and Ash. Numeron didn't stand a chance. It's probably Numeron. And there we go, we'll rank up again, you know? All we had to do was add, all we had to do was add Ash and uh, Valor, or Ash and, and Max C to our hand. And then we're good. Ever since we've done that, it's just been Win all City. All right, here we are, the dawn of the final day, the sixth day, and also the sixth stream, which I think is the first time those two numbers have lined up in a while. Normally, I do a little bit of grinding off stream. I try to like change up the deck, do something better, but uh, all my attempts to do that have failed horribly. I, I know people are gonna criticize me for not changing up the deck that much, for not at least trying the go first variant, uh, but I made it off camera and I tried it against the, uh, the solo decks and it, it did not work very well. Let me, let me just tell you what, even, even in solo mode, it could not accomplish a whole lot. And that's because the, the really cool cards that this has that allow you to go first, things like Tachyon Transmigration, things like Hyper Galaxy, are just bricky as fuck. Like, allow me to read this for you real quick, just to give you an example. If you control a Galaxy Eyes monster, activate this as Chain Link 2 or higher. Negate the activation of your opponent's spell trap cards and monster effects before this chain, and if you do, shuffle all those cards into the deck. If you control Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, you can activate this from your hand. 
This, this reads almost like a custom card. It's amazing. Negate everything in the chain, activate it from your hand, and then it's like, you realize the flaw, right? Where if they activate something, you're not sure if they have another chain link to activate. So you either have to activate this now, or you let their other thing resolve, and just just hope that the <laughs> hope that that was all they had. Like you're forever at the mercy of guessing whether or not they can do chain links. And maybe if they, you know, if they have a big combo deck, if there was something going around, like, maybe in Tyralament format, this will be good, because they often have, like, eight chain links long. But against something like Runic or something like Labyrinth, you're not really seeing a whole lot of that. It's, like, two at best if you get lucky. So, and, and also the fact that, like, you can activate it from your hand, yes, but only if you control this, which does practically nothing. You never want to end on just this with this in your hand and hope you're fine because it's not going to work very well. This thing, tribute a monster with 2,000 or more attack, except for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Target a monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or more attack, tribute it, and if you do, special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. This it seems great, you know. You, you, uh, not only do you have non-destruction removal because you tribute an opponent's monster, but you get to summon something from the deck in the process. The problem, of course, is that you have to control a monster with 2,000 or more attack first, and like, yeah, we do, we have this one, which you have to control something else to do. Um, you don't really want to tribute this off, and this is going to get you galaxy eyes anyway. If you don't, like, this is just dead so often. Or you get, you run into situations where your opponent's going to control nothing but monsters with less than 2,000 attack until they get into something like Baron to Floor that can just negate this. And because it tributes as cost, you still lose your monster even, even if they negate this. So it, it's just a huge hassle and it doesn't work very well. And I, it's a pity because I really like to play some of this stuff, but it's, it's just outdated. Like, I made the, the go first version of the deck, and all you're really doing is ending on Photon Lord plus, where is he at? Cyber Dragon Infinity. You got a Monster Negate and an Omni Negate. That's not awful. It's not terrible. But considering you have to do a big combo that is easily disrupted by every hand trap under the sun in order to get to this location, and even if you get to that, most modern decks are going to be able to play through it. So I, I'm sorry for not making this more interesting. We're just gonna have to go with the OTK version. I'm not making any changes yet because this is just the most effective way to play this deck. If, if someone wants to prove me wrong, if they want to get into diamond, I would love to see your diamond deck. Please post it below. Send me your videos on Twitter or whatever. Send me whatever proof you want. I'll check it out. Maybe I'll even make a video with all the suggestions, but um, so far, most of the people that have suggested Galaxy Eyes decks are like, well, this works really well in Duel Links. <laughs> Which is uh, not, not quite the same thing. We're gonna activate this. Summon. Activate. Let's get this, yeah. They made me go first, chat, so now you can finally see what it's like for the go first deck to go first. And I know some people are going to be like, why did you toss the Nova? Because I could have activated the Nova now, special summon two from my hand, but I'm locked into dragons. And unfortunately, the only galaxy eyes that gives you any negate is a warrior. So we would not be able to make that no matter what we did. A sad state of affairs. And we wanted to keep this because this is our win condition. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this in our hand. And we wanted to keep this because Soul Flare says during the opponent's turn, you can pitch a Galaxy Eyes Photon from your hand to destroy one card your opponent controls. So this is a negate and a pop. Unless they have Lava Golem. If they have Lava Golem, then we just done goofed. Well, there you go, our good friend Lava Golem. Come down to make all our efforts worthless. Even if we had made the Photon Lord, it just would have been Lava Golemed. 
Goodbye, Lava Golem. It's been nice knowing you. I will see you in hell, where you belong, where you came from, where you will return once more. I, uh... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play this one out. I think I'm just going to, uh, surrender. I think I'm just going to surrender on this one. You don't blame me, chat, do you? Oh, hey. Well, you know, before we surrender, we should at the very least... <sighs> I really want to hit all these back row, chat. I just, I really do. But I have to hit the monster... Because none of the, like, I can't play unless the monster's gone. But if they have the runic that prevents their monster from being destroyed, I'm just screwed. Uh, oh wait, they can, they can summon the runic from the extra deck that prevents destruction, can't they? Like, it literally doesn't matter. The lightning storm does nothing. Oh, not under fossil dino, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Under Fossil Dyna, they cannot protect themselves. Okay. So we, we can now Special Summon. Um, let me look at this. At 500, 0, can't be Normal Summoned, can't be Normal Summoned. Alright! So we're in this. We might be able to do something. Let's activate Galaxy Soldier. Let's discard this. They've got three negates. Three disruptions. We might be able to pull off a Christmas miracle. Okay, they're negating this. That's fine. That's cool and based and poggers. Epically red-pilled, if you know what I'm saying. I am very low on monsters. Are all my galaxy eyes dead? No, they're not all banished, but I need to hurry up. If they're all banished, I can't OTK. Oh wait, they can draw during my turn? Okay, so now I have to play through like seven disruptions. Now they have significant- and they're gonna max C. You know what? Let's just try for it. If they have the destruction, they have the destruction. We're gonna go for it. Okay, there we go. Got both of those. You got something else you could do? Banish cards up to the number. Okay, so they're they're banishing five. Um, add one runic card from your deck to your hand. All right. So I'm just a deadman, essentially. I think. I might be able to do this. It depends what they do. Jay Zare, thank you for 10 more gifted subs. They just, they believe the power. Okay, there's all my galaxy eyes. So I need to get the one out of my graveyard if I want to be able to do anything. Come on, I'm mostly dead, but I'm not entirely dead. What did they add from their deck to their hand? Um, uh, add one runic card. They added... Target one special summoned. Destroy it. Okay. Can I not special... Oh, I can't special summon anything else. Except for dragons. I'm fucked! I am the fucked man! Tony fucked man attorney at law! My only hope now is that they don't see this as a threat and they just allow it to go through. What are the chances of that, chat? Nope, they're not even allowing it to get into the battle phase. Yeah, but I'm locked into dragons because of Nebula. I probably should have done some more stuff. The problem is the more stuff I do, the more cards they draw because of the max C that they're still allowed to play. Welp. We tried so far and we got so hard, but in the end, uh, we couldn't, we couldn't beat Runic. A sad state of affairs, especially with the past. Yeah, and some people are like, you should have hit all the back row. And again, I, if I would had, I couldn't activate this. That wouldn't have been able to do anything. That wouldn't have been able to do anything. Couldn't summon anything. I had literally no out in my entire deck to the packy, except for another lightning storm. 
Everything else is too big or special summons. So we needed to do that, and that's that's all we could do. And we're down to like 10 cards, so... Yeah, well, they still got 28. I'm, I'm just gonna surrender. But, but thanks to everyone who subbed anyway. I appreciate you believing in me. <laughs> oh. I was so excited by the, the, the Santa cheer. We had a big thing in between. We had so many subs. It was so exciting. I can't show it on the video because it was a whole bunch of copywritten music and stuff like that. But we got, we got in a big hype train. It was very exciting. And in all the excitement, I lost. And, uh... You know, we're back, we're back down to plat five. We're back where we began. We haven't moved the entire time. Which, you know, might have made me sad if I had come in expecting to do a whole lot. But I, I honestly knew going in here, Galaxy Eyes, not the strongest deck. But it's not about the ending sometimes. It's about having fun. And having fun is something you can do as long as you've got good friends, a good community, nice people to keep you warm and happy during the holidays, which this is filmed during the holidays. I think this will come out like a little after the holidays, so it's probably a bit too late for cheer, but it'll be that post-holiday depression and you could, you could watch this and get reminded that there's great people out there being nice. A lot of them are in my community. Maybe consider joining it? That, that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep trying to grind up, but um, I think our Our ability to reach diamond is looking very very low Oh, hey, it's ash blossom My good friend and hated enemy Well, that's unfortunate. I kind of like to do stuff with my graveyard from time to time Well, that's not so bad it seems as though they bricked. All right. Well, that's so bad. I, I feel terrible now. I must set all my spells. Congratulations, you found the one person not playing runic. I would like things, please. Thank you. Let's just do this. Would you like to ash your own card? No, thank you. I'm quite fine with that. Activate. Summon the Photon Dragon. And now this has the effect where anything it battles gets banished at the end of the damage step. Which would be good if they weren't already banished at the end of this damage step. Ah, I see. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm fine. I'll just not run over your necro face. You have fun with that. Ah, uh, ooh, werewolves of London. They're playing Metaphys, chat. I am up against the world's only other Metaphys player. Nightmare Phoenix, I see. All right. Discard the other dimension shifter. Well, goodbye reinforcements. Ah, yes. I forgot about Zeus's off-not-remembered other effect. Where you can detach a card from the deck when uh, something happens. Or the extra deck. Let's get that Lightning Storm equipped to him. Make sure he has four materials. Alright, Metaphys. You put up a good fight. You chungus among us. Oh, they're not done. Um... Oh, no, I can't allow that. That would have been... I'm one of the few people who understands what that would have done. Oh, they were sneaky. So what they had there was the one that lets them search a Metaphys, and then Tyrant Dragon. Tyrant Dragon, during the standby phase, returns itself to the deck and special summons a Metaphys, Metaphys from the hand. So they would have searched Daedalus, summoned Daedalus, banish all special summoned monsters on the field, 
And there goes my Zeus. There goes my, there goes my uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon. I'm back to square one. But fortunately, I had the Ash. So there we go. We won. We beat Metaphys, one of my favorite decks. No, I don't want to play it on Ladder Climb. It's not very good, except in very specific formats. Although this is maybe one of those formats. Maybe, possibly. I don't know if I wanted to see um, Anti-Spell Fragrance. I mean, that does stop Runic for a turn, but... Um, it also is not great if you want to activate, like, D-Fissure and Factors and Ace of Metaphys. We will make something we have yet to make before. Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. He has the ability to get two Monster Negates, and he can search a card during the opponent's turn. That's pretty nifty, if you do say so myself. We just gotta hope they don't have another Lava Golem. But I mean, what are the chances that we fought another Lava Golem deck, chat? Uh, yeah, we'll just take one Photon card. Let's get... What else is in our hand? The Lightning Storm. Let's... Ooh, let's add the Photon Sanctuary. And thank you for another 10 gifted subs, JR. Holy fuck. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's happening. <laughs> no! No! Every time with the Lava Golem! Why must I be cursed with the ability to see into the future and the inability to do anything about it? Okay, now surely this won't be the third Lava Golem in a row, right? Like, how many people can seriously be playing Lava Golem? Like, it's just improbable. This is like the third time we've gone second, and the chance is that not only would we face three of those decks, but that all three of them would start with Lava Golem are just like incredibly small. Just like mathematically, statistically improbable. This is something where even if I was on a go first deck that was building stuff, well, I, I guess it's not Lava Golem. That, you know what? That sure is not Lava Golem. I'll give it to that. It's it's fucking dark hole. All right, there we go. We beat it. We beat the curse. We fought a deck that made us go second, and they didn't have a lava golem. It truly is the epitome of the Christmas spirit. Well, now I am become bug. They're, they're actually, they're actually resolving the effect of Parasite Paranoid. Metamorphosed Insect Queen is on the board. <laughs> yeah, chat, you know what? I was, I was planning to go for a little bit longer, try to see if I could at least get back up into, to plat four. Um, I, I can't, I can't anymore. I've, I've lost to insects with all the janky Mimi insects in there. Like, this isn't even, like, the best build of B-Troopers. B-Troopers isn't the best deck by any means. It's probably not in most people's radar. Like, probably not even, like, the top 20 decks. And it has just absolutely trounced me in a way that, like, most... It just, I, I, I am done. I tried, I tried, I, I did my best. I did what I could. I hope you enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna end things here. <laughs> not the bees! They are not playing an insignificant number of digital bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This deck has eight digital bugs. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bee trooper monsters. So for anyone who says that this, oh, you didn't lose to digital bugs, Joe, you lost to bee troopers. This has more digital bugs in the main deck than it has bee troopers. Granted, it has, it, but it's playing the fusion spell. I guess it has more bee trooper cards if you count the fusion spell, but who the hell plays absolute Hercules? Oh, just shockingly awful and absolutely devastating to me. With the with the metamorphose, only one Sting Lancer. You don't need any more than one. You're fine. 
Two, and all the ratios are weird, too. Playing three, retaliating C, just to be safe. Just to be certain, you know. As you do. You know, they say it's often about the journey and not the destination. Uh, but if you look at the destination, we are exactly where we started. We began in Plat 5, and we have ended in Plat 5. So it's almost like the journey didn't happen. But you know what? In some ways, it, I, I like to think of it more as... The journey was just chilling out with friends at home. You just, you know, everyone came over. We had a fun time. We tried to play a goofy Galaxy Eyes deck that that I came in knowing was not good. That I didn't think would, would get out of plat unless we got really lucky. I didn't think it was quite this bad. I didn't think we would have a, a negative win rate for the first time. <laughs> Only 40%. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed it regardless. You got to see some big numbers, got to see some cool plays, maybe I fought some interesting opponents, and maybe you learned a thing or two about what makes a deck good and bad in the modern game. So that uh, when you're trying to decide for yourself, or if you're a patron trying to help me for the future, you, you know, have an idea of what, what actually works and what doesn't. And uh, especially if you made it this far into the video, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, let me know what you thought about this journey. Was it interesting? Was it fun? Like last month where I experimented with a meta deck to see how that worked. This was an experiment with like playing something that I just knew was bad, that I knew would not get very far, and seeing if I could make it fun regardless. Uh, obviously, I don't think I want to do this all the time, but is this something you would like to see every December? Like just December is just the bad deck month. Or would you prefer things to have a, a little bit of competition? Let me know as we go into the end screen. Welcome to the end screen. This is where I take a moment to be super nerdy and look over all the statistics for this month's episode, among other things. For example, I ended up playing 103 duels with Galaxy Eyes over the course of just six dueling sessions. We won 41 of those duels and lost 62, which gives this deck an overall win rate around 40%. We went through six different builds during that time before settling on this one behind me, which contains 10 common cards, 21 super rare cards, and 24 ultra rares. We spent 12,000 gems on this month's deck, which would cost about $200 if you bought them all at the store at the standard price. Finally, all of this wouldn't have been possible without 364 awesome patrons who helped support the channel this month. 27 of those patrons donated $25 or more for December, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Fred Thomas, Uber Super Sloth, Austin Glover, Chris W, Daniel Stayer, Ya Boy Slurp, Munchry, Barbarians Are Us, Choppy Rice, Chris Kessler, Colonel Parker's Jump Rope, Default Titan 97, Dancing Joker, Emperor Lelouch, Jeff M, Long Live the Queen, Matt, MBT Yu Gi Oh!, Nathan, Quintingent, Sanguine Strawberry, Tengen Tapa Bob Ross, TJ Minty, Viscount Billy Esquire, and Wonder Waffle. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just $1 gets you on my Discord, $25 gets your name in the credits, and for $10 you can get a special role there that'll help you pick the next deck I play. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, I'll be playing Greta Plants, the counter-based fusion archetype that just got some new support in Master Duel this month. If you want to see me attempt this in real time, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash hardleggaming. I stream all my duels there, link in the description. Otherwise, until next time, good luck and have fun.